Hello and welcome to a new Vintage Tools video. In this little video, we want to show you the refurbishment of a Studer 269 mixing desk. At the beginning, there's always an incoming check with an error lock. This way, you can see how the measured values have improved after the overhaul. Then everything is disassembled and thoroughly cleaned. Not every console needs as much love as this Studer 269. And the entire frame does not always have to be dismantled. But simply blowing a little compressed air in the frame and replacing the electrolytic capacitors is far from a good restoration. The metal parts are cleaned. Rubber is revised or replaced. And vinyl is maintained. Then it goes to the boards. The now almost 50 years have often taken their toll on the PCBs. With the help of our secret snake oil tincture and a dremel with a brush, everything will look nice and clean at the end. Now the clean mainboard can be put back into the frame. Now for the channels. You could also just remove the knobs and clean around them, but the circuit boards and the faders are being removed anyway. So let's just do it right. At first, let's remove the front panels and the faders. Like this, the aluminium frames can be cleaned perfectly. With a simple visual inspection, you can quickly see whether someone has already tempted with the circuit boards. Poor attempts at restoration often cause ripped off conductive tracks at the PCBs. Cleaning and resoldering bad contacts often helps. The electrolytic capacitors all have to be removed and replaced with new ones. We recommend Panasonic FC at this point. The plastic parts can be easily cleaned in a solution with washing up liquid. Sometimes you have to help with a brush. In the next step we take care of the faders. As you can see the conductor tracks are heavily soiled. A cotton swab with alcohol is best for cleaning. Otherwise, we recommend Deoxid Fader Spray F5 and NC123 Extra from NCH. Both are expensive, but the results are very good and it's worth the investment. After changing the caps, cleaning the circuit board and resoldering some points, it's time to repair the faults we found in the incoming check. Here it was a 4-level potentiometer that had to be disassembled and reassembled after repair. After assembly, the now mint channels are ready to be installed in the frame again. The power supply is often a problem with the studio consoles. This one has probably gotten too hot a few times. It needs to be repaired and all the electrolytic capacitors need to be replaced as in the channels. If all caps are exchanged, then don't forget the ones in the bridge and under the cover in the frame. Dismantling the bridge is unfortunately tenuous and takes time. After the assembly, everything is calibrated and tested again. Anyone who would like us to overhaul their mixing console or is interested in buying a restored mixing console is welcome to write us an email. If we don't have one in the shop right now, then maybe we can provide one from our clients or friends. For more information about vintage German recording gear, please have a look at www.vintagetools.de. Thanks for watching.